Pfizer says three of its COVID-19 vaccine doses are enough to neutralize the Omicron variant. Good afternoon and welcome to 13 News at Noon. I'm Allison Gormley. Pfizer and BioNTech released preliminary lab studies that showed a booster dose increased by 25-fold the level of so-called neutralizing antibodies against Omicron. Scientists have said the high jump in antibodies might be enough to counter any decrease in effectiveness. The laboratory data hasn't undergone scientific review. Pfizer CEO says the booster should be enough until they can develop a specific vaccine for the variants. If we need a new vaccine, those tests are telling me that we will be able to have a very good one if we need one against Omicron, because really we're able with some tweaks to produce way higher results. I'm not sure we will need it because very, uh, it's, it's one very likely scenario that the current booster will be enough to maintain protection. Adults who have had the Pfizer or Moderna COVID-19 vaccines are eligible to get a booster six months after their second shot. Those who got the Johnson & Johnson one-shot vaccine are eligible for a booster of any authorized vaccine two months after their first dose. Severe cases of respiratory illnesses are being reported across the country, but doctors say it's not COVID, it's the cold, with symptoms that feel more like severe and sickness lasting a lot longer. Many say this year there's nothing common about the common cold. Doctors' offices are packed with sick visitors. We have several theories about that. Um, one is that they didn't catch anything last year, so their immune systems are saying, what the heck is this? And they're having more strong reactions. Um, and the other is just that um, there's so many things going around. With kids back in school and a lot of us doing more things inside as temperatures drop, doctors expect these upper respiratory cases to increase. They're also already starting to see the flu a lot earlier than usual. <laughs>